Hey, how about it? For a fourth season, how about an Arsenio? Fourth season, congratulations on your fourth season. I mean that. I appreciate being here. But enough of you, now let's talk about me, shall we? Do you ever get up in the morning, look at yourself nude in the mirror and just say, forget the diet, how big could I possibly get? 400, 500, 600 pounds, not a lot to do when you're 600 pounds. You can't mingle in with the crowd. 600 pounds, you are the crowd. You know, I recently lost 60 pounds, that's why I talk about it, you know? And I just can't get over the difference it's had effect on people, like my wife. I lost 35 pounds in three weeks, and the wife goes, well, let's just water weight. And I said, hey, I don't care if it's hair loss, it's gone. <laughs> I'd go out to nightclubs, I'd be in the middle of the room, people would say, are you dancing? I'd say, no. they say, well, sit down, you're crushing people. <laughs> but the worst thing about being overweight is you bump into people you haven't seen since, like, high school. And they can be so mean, like, people say, wow, did you get fat? <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, I almost forgot I hated you. <laughs> How's things down at stairs, you pinhead, you know what I mean? Because people just can be, you don't need people telling you you're fat. I mean, you know you're fat. Little things give it away, like, if you drop a pen, and rather than bend over and pick it up, you go, ah, I'll buy a new one. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Oh, that's very sweet of you, but I ain't got a lot of time. So, the thing is, well, like, you know you're fat when your socks start to get tight, and that's the big tip-off for clothes. See, women, women have an unfair advantage. If you snap and just eat everything in the house, bonbon, chocolate, blow up, you can get a parachute, put on some flowers. What do you think? Oh, it's you, Madge. You look great. <laughs> but guys, we don't wear dresses. We have to wear pants, and that's the deadline for men. You go out shopping for pants, waist size 32, 34, even 36. You get nice designer labels, colors you've seen before in this lifetime. <laughs> waist size 36 and above, clown pants. <laughs> You get fish chasing cats and dogs, balloon people terrorizing stick people. Not only people know you're fat, they think you're dressed like an idiot. <laughs> Speaking of idiots, I guess President Bush has just announced that he admits we're in a recession. <laughs> what did he do? Finally come home? Hey! <laughs> where is it? Oh. This guy is traveling the world right now. Do you know what he's doing? He's inviting foreign people to come visit. Wake up! They're already here! <laughs> Take a look at me. I am a white American male. Take a very close look. Because according to the Los Angeles Times, in five years, I'm going to be a minority in this country. Now, I was upset for a while, but I figured, what the hell, finally I'll be able to get money from the government. <laughs> now, I look around... I look around the room, and I'm glad to see the black people laughing at that joke, because that's not a slam at black people. Blacks and whites may have had trouble in this country before, but never in the history of America have blacks and whites needed each other more. Come on, we're the only ones who understand English. Think about what I'm saying. I don't want you to think I'm one of these weirdo guys. I have nothing against foreign people. Okay, maybe one thing. I have one thing against foreign people. It's this lottery. If I see one more Hindu guy hit for 10 million, I'm gonna snap. I'm gonna go to India. I'm gonna dig up Gandhi. I'll dig up both Gandhis. I'll bring them back. I'll sell them to Michael Jackson. Tell him it's the elephant man's twin brothers. <laughs> them bones, them bones, them crazy bones. Here, bubbles fetch. Now, look, this is a guy. I mean, I respect Michael Jackson. I do. But the lot, you know, the lottery was my chance at getting money. I've always wanted to be rich. The only thing holding me back is the money. But I figure this. People say, money isn't everything. Well, how would you know? Come on, you're worse off than me. Well, money can't buy you love. Maybe not, but I know a couple of girls who do a great imitation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. You people have been wonderful. Thanks a lot.